Woodfield have been nomadic for the last 25 years, going to a clear field, creating an event and then disappearing back and leaving no trace. For the next 25 years we're thinking we'd like to put down some roots. The idea for a base for Butterfield has been knocking around for a long time. It was kind of March 2019 where we, a group of us got together and, and really created the vision of a place that could not just house a community but also house the festival, be a place where we could put on events and uh, teach and really allow Butterfield to sink some roots into a piece of land. There's a collective purpose and then there's roles that make that happen. It draws a bit more of a kind of collective effort together. There's something really beautiful when power is distributed in that way because creative and incredible things emerge because people are handed responsibility that maybe they might not have been in other situations. It's about land management, land care, having our own land, not renting. Somewhere to look after our stuff. Somewhere to live. And work together, somewhere to offer things out to the world. A real hub. He knew there were elements in the movement that were thinking it was a bit too radical, but it's very definitely a, an expression of Sangrachita's vision of the Dharma. He very explicitly said that. He was very keen and very supportive of Buddhafield. We have to have myth and narrative, not just grounded in environmental issues. We step out of narrow ideas of ourselves trying to fix something. As that separation breaks down, it's not like I'm an environmentalist. There's just beings responding. That's what the ecosystem thing feels like. We hold to the idea that there's lots to celebrate about humanity and our deepest innate abilities when we consistently remember to tap into them. We are asking people to lighten up in the most profound way so that they can go out into the world and use their sense of imagination because the solutions to the problems that we're facing will be things we haven't yet thought of. And the more that we can encourage creativity, lightness and an ability to move forward with faith that we can achieve the things that we imagine, um, the better off it will be. The need for more young people in terms of the movement. We've got young people coming out of our ears. We could do with more resources really to be able to give those people teaching, support what they need. There's a lot more we could do. I think if you want a young person to have a really full experience of the Dharma life. Send them to Buddhafield to be a volunteer. They'll have an experience of practicing the Dharma intensively every day with a very strong emphasis on the altruistic dimension. There's excellent Dharma teachers working there now. It's such a good Dharma training opportunity for young people. At the time we're just thinking, I don't want things to be like this. Something happened in that moment of turning towards. If you engage, if you committed, if you say yes to life, then things can change, yeah? While we offer um, specific uh, courses for people, a lot of teaching happens in between the formal side. So learning in the sense of learning connectedness, developing friendship, learning trust, all those are just as important. <laughs> Got you a bit there. <laughs>
Imagine a new home for Riddlefield, a place with a unique feel and taste, a significant new development for Truran. For 25 years, people have gained a sense of place, purpose and belonging from Budderfield events. We want to take this further and deeper, to resource more people to live the Dharma life authentically and imaginatively. We have ethics and a way of being in community that has a lot to offer the world. At the moment, our offering is limited by being geographically scattered and practically seasonal. More people could connect with this year-round at Butterfield Base. We will offer a place for apprenticeships, training and courses, holding land in common for personal, spiritual and community development. We are holding the vision for the next 25 years and beyond. A home for the eco for spirit. You can be a part of it right now. We are raising £1.7 million through grants, loans and the generosity of the people who love what we do. We already have nearly a third of that amount and we need your help to get the rest. Click on the link to donate and be part of this vision.